Good morning everyone. Welcome to our channel. My name is Tiana Suazo. I am the Executive Director of Red Willow Center. Red Willow Center is located in beautiful Tuscola in northern New Mexico and is comprised of three main components. Our farm, our farmers market, and our youth education programs. Today we're going to be talking to you about our gray water systems with one of our wonderful youth education coordinators, Megan Schramm. She will guide you through the process of this very cost efficient water system as well as explaining its benefits. This is going to be the first of many videos in our water conservation series as water conservation is extremely important to us here in northern New Mexico as we live in a high desert area and we are experiencing the effects of climate change. Um, so we're excited to share with you our water conservation methods and if this is something that you're interested please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you. Hello, I'm Megan and I'm an employee here at the Red Willow Center and I'm an ecological designer and today I'm going to show you the gray water system that we've just installed. So we're here at our harvesting sink where we wash all of the produce that is grown here on the farm. The produce is then distributed to uh, various food pantries and shelters around Taos as well as the Taos Pueblo Farmers Market. And um, when we're washing our produce, we wash two days a week and um, we send out about um, 200 gallons a week maximum to our fruit trees. Um, so now I'll show you a little bit of the system down below. So after we drain the system from the sink, it's going to have a choice with these two T valves. These are diverter valves and you can turn them and they're either going to flow to the fruit trees out this way or they can actually be diverted to go through the greenhouse. <laughs> so that's going to go out to the tomatoes. Um, water conservation is so important. We're in the high desert where the Rocky Mountains meet the desert. We get about 13 inches of rain on a good year and um, I don't know that we've received that much rain this year. So by creating the system, we're giving a second use to this water that would um, otherwise just go away down the drain. So now let's go outside and let's see where the water's flowing. So here we are at the finished installation. Um, this whole installation with the plumbing and the buckets and the lids um, just cost under $100 and we got everything we needed at the local hardware store or we just found what we needed around here, like the buckets. Um, so I think this is a really attainable project as long as the permitting in your area allows for this type of um, gray water installation. So make sure you check that. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the basin size. So in order to um, decide how big this basin here would be, we actually had to do what's called a percolation test. And a percolation test means that we first dug a hole that was about a foot deep, and then um, we filled it several times with water, let that drain, and then came back the next day, we filled it with water one more time, and then we actually timed how long it took to drain. And um, we found that the soil drained really quickly here. It's important to know um, what type of soil you have, if it has a lot of sand in it, or if it has a more of a clay type soil because that's going to help you decide how big to dig your basins to um, fill that volume of water that's coming from your sink in here. Um, you want to make sure that your trees have enough water to grow but you also don't want to flood your system if it's really clay compacted soil it's going to drain slower. Um, I studied with the watershed management group I think they're an amazing resource and they have lots of charts and um, ways to help you create your own system as well. Well, that's our system. Thank you so much for tuning in and um, just power to all those who are deepening their connection with the earth and the way that we um, take care of the water and the soil and the plants and the animals. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do an outlet here 
in an outlet here. So when this one's open and this one's closed, it'll go to the greenhouse. When this one's open, it'll go to the That's like very that. simple. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So this is a great tool to use for cutting pipes. So we want to do a really straight cut. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try doing it or do you want to see me do it first? Um, no, I can use this. Okay. Yeah. Let me get my own. Where those? So you primer them both first, then you glue them. Yeah. So you do this yep. side and that side. Yep. And the primer is the, which one? The purple. The purple. Blue. Good to go. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Okay. I've done better, but good enough. Hey everybody, my name is Brennan. I'm happy to be uh, volunteering at the Red Willow Farm today. And I'm gonna explain how this branch drain gray water system works. So let's uh, open up the, uh, take the drain out and let the sink drain. And you can see right here, there's a T 
And this is at um, a particular level to allow the gray water, half the gray water is going this way, half the gray water is going this way. So you can see here, this is just a simple five gallon bucket with holes on the side and this um, gravel at the bottom. So we can see all that gray water from the sink after they're done harvesting is gonna go into this bucket and then fill up, this is a, a mulch basin. This will eventually be full of mulch, these wood chips, which kind of act as a sponge. And then over time, the roots of the fruit tree are going to reach down and collect all this water. So we installed this mulch basin kind of at the drip line of the tree, imagining this tree is gonna get much bigger one day. And now instead of this water just going down the drain, it's being reused as a great source of water for our fruit trees. So that was the first sink, right? That's both sinks. That was both sinks? Wow, yep. it drained really well. So if we look inside this bucket, we're gonna see that we added some gravel to the bottom. Um, this is the way that we're protecting our pipe and our, our gray water installation from many things. This is going to have a lid on top so that it's easy to find and access because eventually you can imagine this will be covered with all kinds of plants um, who are uh, drinking this water. And um, we make sure that the water can spill out. That's just gonna help to prevent any blockages from debris that might get in here from the sink. And then the gravel acts as the same way. It's going to um, prevent any critters from getting up inside this bucket. It's also going to prevent any plant roots from um, getting in here and clogging the pipe as they do love to seek water.